Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 29 XBHL. First thing I want to jump into right off the bat with this floor plan is the overall length and weight here. So what we're looking at is quite a big trailer. This is actually 37 feet long from pin to bumper and you're looking roughly around 7,200 pounds dry. So our big recommendation for somebody that is interested in something like this, you're probably going to want to be pulling with something maybe a little bit bigger than a half ton or at least a heavy duty half ton at that. Now let's jump into a bit of the construction here with Heritage Glen because they do some really cool additions to their uh, style of construction. First off, this is a vacuum bonded trailer. And if you're not familiar with what vacuum bonding is, that's going to give you an aluminum structure in behind your walls and block foam insulation, which is completely pressed together. It's a very, very, it's a very high quality finish to your construction and it's one of the best ways you can put together a fiberglass wall. The other thing that's very unique is when we look at the flooring inside of Heritage Glen. The same way that they build their exterior walls, the same way that they build their flooring. It's a complete bonded floor and the big benefits with that is it gives you extra insulation to keep that floor warm. Another added feature that when we're talking about construction here is the enclosed underbelly. This trailer has a fully insulated enclosed underbelly with 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you're the type of camper that likes to go out into that early spring or late fall style of camping, you're set to go with this. So let's jump across to the front of the trailer here and we'll work our way around. First thing that you'll notice when we're up at the front here is this massive pass-through storage compartment. And another example too of the style of construction you get out of here is you can see all of that exposed aluminum framing. It looks very, very nicely well done in here and like you can see there is a ton of space in here. Little additions that I always like to point out too is if we look at our storage door here, you'll actually have magnetic latches here. This is a nice little detail because over the years of use, if your trailer has the plastic clips, those always tend to break over the years. Another nice addition is you'll see just below this big sticker here, which gives you some really cool features on the trailer, is this nice slam entry door uh, for your storage compartment. These are really nice because they actually are deadbolt keyed, so no one with that little tiny silver key can get into your storage compartments and uh, get access to your things. Plus, it's a simple slam to close the door for you. As we move, move, uh, move our way throughout, you'll notice you'll have four corner stabilization jacks here and a nice big power awning behind me. But let's keep moving forward. So as we go up to the front side of the trailer here, one of the big construction features on this Heritage Glen is this big fiberglass painted cap. One of the big benefits that you do get out of this is it covers the main roof seal on the top of the trailer. So that's eliminating the chances of having water seeping into the front cap of the trailer and it causing delamination, which are those bubbles that you sometimes see. Now, it's also really nicely appointed with this LED light strip here so it cleans that look up again. You have two 20 pound propane tanks on the front of the trailer also, and you'll even have a power tongue jack here. Follow me around this way and we'll continue talking about some of these cool exterior features. So again, you're going to have the other entrance to your pass-through storage compartment and you'll also have an outside hot and cold shower here. This is a nice little feature for an example if you have pets or kids, you know, you can, kids come back from the beach, you can spray the sand off of them or even if you want to surprise the neighbors in the morning, you do your thing. Now just beside it here, you'll have a full docking station is what we like to call it. This is really cool because it has a fresh water connection to fill your tank, a city water connection that goes directly to the actual water pump and a black tank flush. For those who aren't familiar with a black tank flush, this is something that is a big uh, spray port directly inside your sewer tank. So that allows you to completely rinse down the entire system so you're not getting that gum buildup on your anodes or you're not getting the smell back inside the trailer. Let's work our way back to the front side now and we'll talk a little bit about the cool features on the exterior. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before, in this particular floor plan, floor plan from Heritage Glen, you have a beautiful awning that stretches long way out and you'll also have the nice LED light strip there. Just below that, you're going to have some outside speakers which are also backlit with blue LEDs to again give you that really nice modern look to your trailer. But probably one of the biggest features that you do have underneath this awning is the outside kitchen here. This is really, really cool. We can simply open this up like so and you'll have an outside fridge here. And just below that, you'll have your pull-out cooktop. As you may have noticed, inside that fridge, there's actually a little water hose in there. And that's going to be able to hook up to your outside spray port, which is just on my right or uh, left side here. And you also have a gas connection for your stove, which is just located underneath the, uh, the frame of the trailer there. 
Now, one little thing that I do wanna to touch on before we jump inside this trailer is the style of axles that you have on this particular trailer. This is called the wide stance suspension system. One of the big things that you gain out of this Heritage Glen with this style of setup is it gives you a lot smoother towing when you're going down the highway. Plus when you're inside your campsite, it actually gives you a more level um, ground essentially, right? So you bring down all your jacks and with that spacing of the tires, it's nice and sturdy once you're standing inside your trailer. As we make our way to the back here, there's a couple cool little features that you do get out of this Heritage Glen. For an example, this massive oversized grab handle, not something you see in a whole lot of travel trailers, plus your more ride steps. These are super cool because they flip right up inside the trailer like so, and they keep from getting dirty and rusted out over the years like you may have seen with a lot of the other pullout steps. Plus, you do have adjustability on either side of this step too, so if you're on that uneven ground, it's very easy getting in and out of your trailer. Heritage Glen also gives you a wider door too to get inside of here. So let's go inside and have a look at some of the features. So first thing you'll notice coming inside the door here, I wanna show you this awesome pantry and this really, really cool coat closet. So simply open the door up there. It's actually got a motion sensor light. So as soon as you open that door, it kicks the light on for you. And this is a lot of things that we get asked about um, from our customers is, you know, where do we hang up coats or where's the pantry and things like that. It's nice having it right by the door. Now, right behind me is probably one of the coolest bunk rooms that I've ever seen inside a travel trailer. Follow me back here. So what Heritage Glen has done is they've given you what's called a queen style bunk. You'll have two flip down here and it's very easy to set up. Let me show you how it's done. So you can see with this couch here, you'll actually just grab the back of this couch. It folds down into place. You can jump up on here. The big mattress folds down. Let me pull this right over top of itself. And boom, you have a massive bunk here. This, the, the top bunks are very, very simple to set up. It's just a simple pull down. They're on a gas strut there. So you'll have a bunk here and a bunk across. So if you have four kids, you have plenty of sleeping space in here. It's also got a sliding door and to top it all off, you even have a massive pack and play storage door in here because there's no slide out in here. So if you wanna put the kids bikes or you name it, there is plenty of storage. Now follow me into the main area here. First thing I wanna talk about now that we're looking at the main area of the trailer is the entertainment unit. This is a great spot for a large TV that you can add into here. And just below that, you'll have your Jensen stereo unit, which is Bluetooth capable, it's AM FM capable, and of course it's a CD and DVD player. Just underneath that, you're gonna have your electric fireplace. This is very, very cool. It actually works as an electric dry heater too that puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So again, if you're that style of camper that likes to camp in the early spring or late fall, you have another version of heating up this trailer. As we work our way through, you'll see this beautiful kitchen. So what you're gonna gain out of this fridge here is this is an eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge. A lot of trailers in this size, you usually only see about a six. So now what you're gaining out of this is an extra drawer in here, or a shelf I should say, and of course your separated freezer. So it's a beautiful size fridge. As we work our way through the rest of the kitchen, you'll have a nice microwave, three burner cooktop, and this is the brand new Furion cooktop too. This is a really cool black stainless look to it. So you're gonna have this nice glass door here with the blue lights. Of course, you'll have a light inside of here also. And then just underneath that, they give you the nice big sliding drawer. One thing I wanna point out too while we're looking at the drawers and cabinets in here is you have full ball bearing extension drawer glides and plywood interiors. So the fit and finish is very nice. And again, on top of that fit and finish too, if we look at the countertop in here, this is a seamless press membrane. So a lot of trailers, what you may see is a T-mold style countertop and that stuff's no good because over the couple of years, it's gonna start to come apart. Something like this, you're not gonna see that. Now on my right side here in this big super slide, you have a beautiful U-shaped dinette and you'll also have a pullout sofa here, which is really cool. So again, just more additional sleeping space. Another thing that I wanna to touch base on while we're looking in this slide is check out these windows, guys. These are huge windows. So you're gonna have a big panoramic view in here. You're also gonna have these really nice pull-down roller shades. So these are great for blocking out all the light and keeping the privacy or the heat out of side of the trailer. Now, underneath your dinette too, you're gonna to notice there's some extra, uh, extra storage here. This opens up really, really nice. So you're not having to lift up these cushions to access all of this extra storage inside your trailer. Now follow me, we'll go check out the actual bathroom here and then finish off with the bedroom. But first of all, 
while we're inside this bathroom, look at the amount of space that I have in here. This pass-through bathroom is great because it gives you a ton of storage, and of course it gives you a large shower. So while we're looking at the shower here, this is actually a full plastic shower surround, so it helps keep your walls protected from the water. Plus, it's actually got a really, really nice sliding shower door. It's a lot better than a lot of those like flimsy curtains you may see in, um, in a lot of other brands. Again, another good fit and finish feature that we like to talk about is the porcelain toilet in a Heritage Glen. Something like this is gonna be much easier to clean and they're gonna last the full life of the trailer. Now, I'll let you jump into the bedroom here and have a good look around. You'll have a bunch of storage all the way around the, the, uh, the bed here. And this is actually a nice full-size queen too. So you're gonna have a bunch of, uh, bunch of sleeping space. There's actually some plugins on either side. So if you have a CPAP machine or anything like that, you're equipped to do whatever style of camping you need to do. That pretty much wraps up the Heritage Glen here today, guys. Actually, wait a second, there's one feature I did miss. Um, just on top of the roof of this trailer, we didn't have a chance to show you today, but this trailer actually has a 50 watt solar panel right from factory. And through Heritage Glen, you have the option of going all the way up to a 500 watt if you wanted to. So let us know what kind of options you're wanting to go with that range line here. But again, that wraps up this Heritage Glen. I'm Ty the RV Guy. Make sure you give us a call and ask us about our RV show pricing. Thanks again for watching and happy camping. <laughs> Thank you.